Hello and welcome to Sci-Fi Night Light. This is a different segment of the show which is basically just my opportunity to talk about some random topics that somehow relate to sci-fi and horror. So, the future. Often depicted in many different ways with all kinds of futuristic entertainment. Sports is one of the oldest forms of both competition and entertainment, so of course sci-fi movies depict plenty of, mostly lethal, sports of the future. Now, before we get this list rolling, I'm going to have a certain cutoff point. Futuristic gladiator battles don't count. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm expecting a couple of people to die in these sports, but even if combat is involved, then it shouldn't be the entire point of the game. Why? Because that list is awaiting us in a future installment of Sci-Fi Night Light. We're going to start off with one of the original future sports, Rollerball. This 1975 classic is about a future where everything is controlled by corporations. You know, the kind of dark and financially segregated result of privatization that so many rich right-wingers want for us in the present. In this future, rollerball is the most popular and deadly sport in the world. And it's kind of like basketball with rollerblades and motor vehicles. There was an inevitable remake, of course, in the year 2002. This film starred the poor man's Freddie Prince Jr., Chris Klein. In the remake, the rules and the actual point of the game is much less clear. Everything is so much cheesier and a million times more stupid. And for some insane reason, LL Cool J decided it'd be a good idea to star in this. In another case of remakes, we'll start off with another 1975 classic. Roger Corman's Death Race 2000 starring Sylvester Stallone. In this dystopian future, the aforementioned death races take place like a cross-country contest where you rack up extra points for running over civilians. But teenagers now rack up 40 points and toddlers under 12 now rate a big 70 points. The big score, anyone, any sex over 75 years old has been upped to 100 points. The film isn't that great, but it's got some nice satire and dark humor. Frankenstein scores! Frankenstein scores at last! But what kind of a score, boys and girls? It also features Sylvester Stallone wearing an enormous pink tie. And it's not every day that you see that, anyway. The 2008 remake starring Jason Statham cuts out the civilian points in favor of more exotic and deadly cars. Interestingly enough, this 2008 film takes place all the way in the hopeless future of 2012. Talk about a pessimistic view of a future, huh? So sure, it's no Casablanca, but at least it's heads and tails above the two sequels that followed. Damn. The classic Starship Troopers is probably not a film that you think of when future sports is brought up, but they do have a uniquely futuristic version of American football. The ball is silver because, you know, the future. Also, apparently the athletes are somehow granted superhuman strength and agility because they accomplish quite a few incredible feats that defy normal human physics. Despite many gladiatorial elements in the 1987 Arnold Schwarzenegger film The Running Man, I'm going to have it on this list because it really is more of a race slash obstacle course with a couple battles involved in the overall competition. In this film, convicts compete in The Running Man, the most popular show on TV, of course, with a chance to win their freedom. The game show segments really elevate what would be an otherwise all too cheesy film. It's still super cheesy, but it's a good kind of cheese. How about the light? <laughs> the next film gives us, hey, Rutger Hauer! 1987's The Blood of Heroes takes place in a post-apocalyptic future where the game Juggers decides all. This game would be more or less just a team-based gladiator fight crossed with rugby if it weren't for the main objective of placing a dog skull on a stick. You know, it seems pretty stupid if your team is getting slaughtered and then you manage to throw a dog skull on the stick and all of a sudden you win, but whatever, I don't make the rules of this post-apocalyptic wasteland. In the 2011 film Real Steel, boxing has been outlawed and replaced with... the robot boxing. Sure, why not? Well, as long as humans aren't getting hurt, I guess. This movie isn't all that great, unfortunately. It's a harmless little flick, but nothing all too special. Lastly, we end with the terrible and terribly 90s film Future Sport from 1998. It 
stars Wesley Snipes because, well, it's a terrible action film and Wes has bills to pay. The sport itself is kind of like land hockey mixed with basketball, but on skateboards, kind of, but a lot more stupid. Yeah, you get the idea. So that does it for this episode of Sci-Fi Night Light. We hope you enjoyed it. I'm your host, Sebastian Ben Martinez, and I'm signing out.